And we're back with another episode of Real Life Movie Talk. It is your boy, Chris. Blockbuster Ben. There he is. Yeah. John. John. Yeah. John, we're back again. It's been a week and a half, almost two How long has it been since the last one? Time, wow. Time's fly. Yeah, well, I mean, we're, listen, guys, we apologize for the inconsistency I lately. I, listen, it just, we've been busy. Ben has, I, Ben has I, been too busy for this. No, bullshit. <laughs> uh, we, I, but I traveled. Yeah. John had to go away this past weekend. Got um, it, you know, Chris is doing whatever. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, big poker turn. Mr. Yeah. Brown, bro. Yeah. Breezy could have did it all by himself. Yeah. 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 And to be fair, I did say I could, fo- like, I would have phoned in my scores yeah. and you guys could have done it without me, but, you know. I thought about just doing a solo one. That would have been hilarious if you were like, hey, Ben, check the, check the drive. <laughs> if I was here. Yeah. <laughs> While you were at work. And you just did it in three different cuts and you were all of us. <laughs> yeah. Giant snacks. Oh, my God. That would be so funny. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, here we are. We're back. We got some snacks. Um... I was just in Montgomery, like I said. I brought back these from a little, uh, like a little shop that we're on. Um, What's Montgomery? I'm Montgomery, sorry. Alabama. Oh. Yeah. So this, these are spicy ranch flavored crackers uh, from GoCrackers.com. They were in like a little, uh, like gift shop or whatever. So we'll see if they're any good or not. I haven't tried them yet, um, but I do love saltines. When like, I hear Alabama, I think of crackers. Bro. Well, With okay. <laughs> Tim White folk. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Very good. <laughs> they are actually pretty good. The flavor on there is like, oh, it's got a nice little kick to it. It's got like a little ch- chili pepper on there. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever. Actually, I would eat the hell out of these like all the time. Yeah. What? Dip this in a little cream of crab or something, you know? That was good. Say that. Uh-huh. Crunch these bad boys up in some cream of crab. Mm-hmm. Boy. That's really good. Oh, yeah. What are they known for food wise in Alabama? Southern food, fried chicken, yeah. soul food. Gumbo. Kind of I was trying to think of something like that. Gumbo, maybe, Gumbo. Yeah. 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 It's good. That would definitely be good in gumbo. Jambalaya or something. Mm-hmm. I had some good food while I was down there. I didn't have anything that was, like, crazy good. Is it Creole? I did have, we did go to a, it was called Uncle Mick's Cajun Cafe or something. And it's like, you walk in, and the lady picked me and my coworker out. She was like, hey, guys, first time? Yep. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, she's like, come on up and get some samples. So, dude, yeah, she, that's pretty cool. dude, they have it all set there. She's like, this is our shrimp uh, a la cream. This is our alligator and some and sausage. Um, that was like a spicy one. There was a pork one. There was all different kinds of like, like a soup, but like heavy. They serve it over rice. And it, it was awesome, man. You got two sides. I'll get a shirt that says I'm a food critic and see if I can get food for free like that. That'd be or awesome. my first time eating yeah. shirt. I'm not from here. Just a shirt that says that. You wear it it's my first time here. <laughs> it was actually so good that I was going to buy a t-shirt from the place. Um, but they didn't have any, uh, they had like small and medium. I was like, well, that was sixth grade for me. Right. So I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so these two together? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, otherwise, um, they're good. They're good. They're yeah. Really good. I, I, I'm glad I got these actually. No, so they, can you order them? Gocrackers.com. I haven't checked. Maybe. Gocrackers.com. I'm, sh- I'm sure that if there's a website. That <laughs> sounds like an Alabama <laughs> website. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not, anyway, yeah. What do you have? Mm. Mm. So mine's from Baltimore. Um, I wasn't. We did this in so long that we weren't sure we were doing snacks, so we all did snacks. <laughs> I brought these um, out of Bynes Bakery. It's a Baltimore tradition. Not, not a lot of people like crunchy cookies, but this is what they do. You know what I'm mean? saying? I do. It's like a chocolate chip sugar cookie. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just it's outstanding. John, they're crunchy. Be careful. They don't need any help from us to promote these, but okay. if you've never had one, you got to try one. They have chocolate chip, sugar, sugar, and I think around the holidays you can get like a ginger they, bread. There's a gingerbread and a chocolate chocolate. Director's hat. There you go. I wish they were soft. <laughs> <laughs> if these cookies are just soft. They you don't like the crispy? No, I'm, I'm just oh, kidding. I'm, I'm just a big soft cookie. Like, yeah. I love cookies right out of the oven. Dude, Pretty interesting. Like no, no, no bullshit. Plug those if, cookies if you had first... in Manassas. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, finish your thought, but I, I just you said soft cookies, and I saw that box you put well, on like Snap or Insta or whatever. Oh, Holy hell! So good. Those are key lime cookies. <laughs> key lime pie cookie. Uh huh. Crumble cookie. K R U M B L. 
maybe that's it. I don't think there's an egg. Crumble cookie. They just opened one in Manassas. Uh, I was there this past weekend working. Uh, there's one in like Gaithersburg. They're up that. They're all like up in that area. Okay. They're expensive. It was like yeah. eighteen dollars, seventeen dollars for a half a dozen cookies. But bro, they're like this big, and I'm telling you, that it's weird though because I got a I got two chocolate chips. One that was a uh, chocolate chocolate with mint chocolate chip chips in it, mm. uh, key lime pie one, and then these two uh, peanut butter. They were sugar cookies with like a peanut butter glaze on top, and then um, like Chex mix uh, yeah. pieces on. Oh, oh my! Dude, I'm God. getting Damn so it. excited. What are you so talking about? These they were like, so good. That, that the peanut butter one, yeah. I was like drooling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so damn good. Yeah. Um, I so good I ate them in the parking lot. I didn't even take them home. I got out, I got milk while I was there, and I took them out of the parking lot. And I said, my boy Lonnie was with me. He's like, "What are you doing?" I said, "We're eating at least one of these right now." I was like, "These bitches are warm. We're putting them on the hood, and we're eating one right now." He's like, "But what are people gonna think?" I was like, "They're gonna think these cookies are awesome." Yeah, <laughs> you're so good to eat them in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's weird because the chocolate one, they're like they're th it's a thicker cookie, so it has like a almost like a, a hard crust on the mm -hmm. outside, but the middle is like. Like mo how mochi was, it looked yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the middle's so soft. I'm telling you, dude, they're well, it's well worth it. It was worth eating them on the hood. It was also awesome. They were still, I brought two back, but Jen and I ate them. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, no, you had to at least bring some for Jen. If yeah. we did the podcast Sunday the day I got here, I would have made sure I brought some yeah. back. Yeah, but these crunchy ass cookies. <laughs> you don't like them? <laughs> no, like no, they're so good. They actually really are good. Yeah. The um, more you eat them, the more you like them. But I didn't bring those. Actually, so I got these Snack Factory pretzel crisps. Thin, crunchy pretzel snacks. White chocolate flavored with, with peppermint. Jen got me hooked on these. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, so like, once you pop the fun don't stop thing, like I have got to close this bag and get out of my kitchen because I'll just sit and yeah. I'll just sit and eat these. Now, is this something eat you just eat or do you like that with milk as well? I don't need milk with this. Okay. I don't need any it's white. Uh -huh. I feel like you don't, you don't need it. I mean, I love a chocolate covered pretzel. And you could, you could have mm -hmm. the milk with it. John's also the kind of guy that puts his Christmas tree up right after Halloween's over. That's why they had these. Is it up? I was just saying, I didn't see it when I came in. That's what kids say these days. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I would never have a Christmas tree or decorations in the house. I don't like Christmas at all. Jen, however, loves Christmas. I don't even know Christmas. I don't know. I can't stand it. That's it's another. Stupid, stupid alley. <laughs> that's something we'd have to dive into on the podcast. That's well, a, you got to unpack that. I'll save that. We're doing the podcast this Sunday because it's a Thursday game. Shout out Ravens for that W. That heart attack. Woo! Goodness gracious, man. I didn't have gray hair last week, Love believe it or not. <laughs> Speaking of cat and hair, can you tell that he played duty today? For a bit of debt? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah they go debt right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, I mean, that's just... I played duty with Jen last night. I took her phone. Look what she did right there. Damn. <laughs> she called we just me. call that a battle scar. Yes, yeah. that's a battle scar. Oh! That's one of those dudes that has a really big forehead also. I'm a noob. Yeah. Um, did you guys watch anything in the gap? Aside from these two movies we're going to review, but have you seen anything outside? I did, but I want to talk about it on the podcast. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Love After Lockup. Mm -hmm. My wife put it on. I absolutely hate it, and I hate her for it. Okay. But once I watched like three, I couldn't stop. It's about Ted Bundy? No, it's about a bunch of idiots who pen pal with people in prison. Oh, God. And then they get out, and those people in prison just take all their crap and get away. And leave. Ted Bundy had a baby. Right. Um, I watched, I finished Lock and Key. Okay. So, it's okay. Yeah, I got it. I forced myself to watch the light. It's, it's because it's a lot like, we're going to get into the movie, but it's a lot, it, there's similarities to where I'm just like, this okay. shit would not happen. This is not, and I, I know it's a fantastical mm -hmm. movie, but I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. So I it's just, like, you're still watching this? I'm like, we have to. I'm on season two, episode seven. I have to finish this. Mm -hmm. two, just two and a half episodes. Left. I got to see what happens. I was right. Yeah. I didn't, um... Yeah, really good. It's so good. I'm going to put a boy. Oh, in the hotel. I, I didn't watch anything on the plane because, long story, Americans screwed me over. You saw a little bit of what mm -hmm. happened. Dude, I'm supposed to fly out Monday. Thanks, bye. November 1st, right? Saturday, 9.30 at night, American cancels my flight. Oh, no. For 6 a.m. on Monday. They rebooked me. For like a 345 flight on Monday, getting in at midnight. I was like, well, I'm working at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. That's impossible. <laughs> so I call American. It's like one in the morning. Um, she rebooks me. 
for a 5 a.m. flight on Monday. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get in. Now early. it's early, early, right? Yes. Okay. So earlier than my original. Oh. 5 a.m. sucks, but it's like, it's between that or the getting in way late. Yeah. Would your company want to pay you for that? Or was this a personal? Thing? No, this is work. Okay. They pay me. I mean, that's them. No, they pay me, but I just don't want to get in that late. You know, like, that, because that's technically my travel right, right. there. So I, anyway, 5 a.m. flight. Sad Sunday now, 4.35 o'clock in the evening. American canceled my 5 a.m. flight. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I'm leaving, I'm leaving in 12 hours. What am I supposed to do? So my coworker had gotten rebooked on an 8 o'clock flight out of DCA straight to Montgomery, nonstop. So I got on, I had to get on, I was trying to call American on the phone, hour, nothing. So I called the people that we make, our, we book our travel through. They rebooked me, got on that eight o'clock flight, flew out down. We were down in like, it was like, it took like a, a little less than two hours to get there. But like, we spent all day money just sitting around up here twiddling our thumbs. We get in late and then it's like, you know, you know, the <laughs> Avis was waiting on us to get there. We were the last ones to pick up a round car. I mean, it, it was, it, it was. You seem like somebody that that would not be okay with. I bet you fuck, freaking out. I, I, well, I was like, cause I'm like, man, what are we going to do? It's so late in the day. And if that eight o'clock flight gets canceled, then, then I'm like, well, I guess we're just, up. we're not coming right. and we're going to figure out how to do this another way. Um, Could have virtually solved this. Yeah, well, the, which we, we've done like, right. um, like during COVID, COVID we time. had to do them virtually. Well, it's good that, it's good that you have that drive to get the mission accomplished per se. Yeah. So I got guys at work that are like, well, it's canceled. I'm just going to sit home. Yeah. And then still put the full time. This isn't actually probable. Right. Yeah. Um, I forget where I was going with that, actually. I oh, you had a bad flight. I didn't hear about it. You just told us. Oh, yeah. So you haven't seen anything. I hadn't seen anything. That's right. So I was, I, the flights were short, connections, blah, blah, blah. He had 20 hours of downtime, didn't watch anything. <laughs> no, no, no. I, so in the hotel, one night Scarface was on and mm -hmm. one night The Godfather was on. And actually, the next morning it was on too. So, like, I was caught the Godfather. Was that weekend? It was on Showtime, just running. Oh, yeah. I watched Godfather this weekend. I, I watched could... Goodfellas and uh, Casino. <laughs> we all watched them. Gangster movies. movies, yeah. Scarface is still good, man. I, you know, it's a great movie, but The Godfather is just. I mean, that is. is It's up there, man. It, it, it's. it's. I think far superior to Scarface as far as, like, gangster movies. Sure. Um, and but Scarface cast, is just entertaining. The cast in Godfather. Yeah. Oh, and everyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think Casino is better than Goodfellas, personally. Mm, okay. Huh. It's you know how I feel about Casino, so. You don't like Casino? It's okay. It's fine. But, like, we had a whole thing about it. Remember we did three to keep casinos on there? You don't remember? Whatever. All right. I wasn't here for that. I, was I wasn't in. <laughs> you definitely <laughs> were. <laughs> you definitely were. Yeah, yeah sorry, wait. <laughs> Guarantee mm -hmm. that episode started with one of those. Um, oh, lastly, John, you want to shout out these beers you brought back? Uh, so I stayed like... in Manassas, and uh, mm -hmm. one of the nights that we were there, we went to this place called Two Silos Brewing. This is not from there, okay. but it got me in a uh, microbrewer mood. You know how it does. Mm -hmm. um, and you can buy beer at 7 Eleven. So I just rolled in and I found this thing. It's called Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. They're actually out of Lexington, Virginia. Okay. Um, and. Merrimack, New Hampshire. So they got two places. Make sure you recycle this. But it's a Indian Pale Ale. It's called Eight Point. It's pretty damn good. I I, I took a sip yeah. already. I think it's pretty, pretty good. Damn good. Yep. Pairs yeah. well with these spicy crackers. I was very, I was very <laughs> with the char snackery we yeah, got right here. This shit is good. <laughs> if, if you guys want more, please take some more. But I'm loving those crackers. I will right take now. you up on that. Yeah. I love these crackers down here. Yeah. There you go. Um. All right. You guys want to jump in these movies? Sure do. First up, we're gonna do Halloween Kills. So good. <laughs> so, uh, came out twenty twenty one, um, rated R, hour and forty five minutes. Directed by David Gordon Green, who directed the twenty eighteen Halloween. He also created Eastbound and Down. Uh, he created Vice Principals. So He's created some good stuff. I actually, like both of those. Um, writers, this guy named Scott Teams, Danny McBride from mm -hmm. you know the shows, and David Gordon Green. So I like that these guys are attached. At, um, because I like the, I like the stuff they put out, uh, and the, the plot of the movie is basically it's just a continuation. It picks up where Halloween from 2018 ends and progresses the saga between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers. Um, it's the way you watch them. I think chronologically now, it's Halloween one, the first one from 1978. Yep. Halloween two, right? The the, yeah. the uh, same uh, in the hospital because uh, that's like the same night basically. Yep. Then you skip three, four, five. Six like H two O every basically First everything Jason. 
in between yeah, skips. <laughs> yeah, um, um, the two Rob Zombie Halloweens are their own thing, and then so Halloween from 2018 picks up kind of where t so all that stuff in the middle is basically Negative. for this story yeah. storyline. Yes, no. um, Jamie Lee Curtis is in it. Judy Greer plays Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter, Karen. Um, Al, uh, Andy Match Match Maddie Maddie Check. I don't know. Easy Allison. For him to say. That's yeah. That's Jamie Lee Curtis's granddaughter. So they're all still in it. Um, Will Patton plays one of the sheriffs. Um, th there's some other faces you'll recognize. Obviously, my, they had three different iterations of Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He'd be in it. And then and then so some other people we'll get to in the spoiler section. But um, you know, overall general thoughts. What do you guys think of the movie? <laughs> Garbage fire. <laughs> I didn't hate it. No. Hated it. I didn't hate it, but I have a lot of angry thoughts about it. Like, it's a, a lot that pissed me off about this movie. If we didn't have this movie review to do, I would not have finished it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. you watched it before we knew but we you, were doing you this watched review. it before we, yeah, before we knew we were going to do this. Valid. If we didn't do movie reviews, oh. in general, I wouldn't have watched it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to comment on it, period. Um, you've heard my distaste for this movie, so. All right, so John's going to be in the threes, at least. Yeah, suffer through. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I watched it with Jen, and I probably spent 20 minutes in the bathroom pooping, playing on my phone during this movie. <laughs> That's how much of it I watched. I watched, spent more time looking at TikTok and Instagram than I did this movie. I, I mean, it was terrible. Yeah, it it I, was, um, it kind of lost me almost immediately. Yep. There was something that happened in the very beginning that was like so absurd that I was like, how can I continue to watch this? But obviously we have to. Mm -hmm. And there were some things that I did like it as it went on. I enjoyed some things about it, but there was a lot that I didn't like. Um, you know, the acting was terrible. Horrible. I mean, it was so bad. As bad as the filming. Um, some of the death scenes were cool. The gore was decent. Uh -huh, it was there. I, they I will say the gore part of it, yeah. like when the, just to, not to cut, well, no, no, you're good, yeah. a little bit like the girl when she gets, shoots herself in the face and makes her shoot herself in the face. That looked like semi-realistic, like mm -hmm. the, the way her face blows yeah, yeah, off, and like nice. some of the, you know, some of the gore. I feel like they've done well with that in the Halloweens. I, they do a good job of not cutting away, mm -hmm. and you just seeing like the blood splats, like in Scream. You kind of, you know what I mean? That yeah. you do get a good because that's, I, to be honest with you, that's all it has for yeah. me. If it wasn't for the gory scene, I would not have watched this movie. Right. But yeah. I wanted to see some of the kills. But like, I'm with you. I, I know the scene that you're talking about at the beginning yeah. of the movie where you're like, well, that's oh, the whole was this even what scene was it. So I was gonna say that for the spoilers, if oh, you want, just because I don't want to ruin, yeah. you know. Is it that he's still alive? Yeah, he but, doesn't burn down in the last movie, guys. Yeah, yeah. It, Nor can you cut his head off for a second. I thought the I thought the yeah, opening scene was pretty cool, where like they're in the house fire that left off from the last movie, and he's trapped, and firefighters show up, and as the firefighters there, he falls through the floor. Yeah, and that's not what I'm know, talking about. Yeah. Like Myers yeah. shows up and kills his ass. Right there, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. Yeah. But then it lost me a lot. No, no, no. That part was good. That's not what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. No, no, no. But then there, actually, there might actually be two because then you get out on the lawn and now he turns, he's an MMA fighter. He's hand, like, hand to hand in all these firefighters. Jerry Anderson Silva with all the firefighters. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? That's not how he kills people. Anyone ever. That's not, not how he kills The man yeah. walks a half a mile an hour and then all of a sudden he's out <laughs> yeah. there and it's full fucking jujitsu yeah. on everybody that's out. Fifteen firefighters, my man, just strolls up out of there with a pimp walk and two belts on his shoulder. You're fucking stone cold in the late nineties. Yeah. It's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, it's man. Terrible. Um, so so yeah, there, there's that, and uh, there's another one I'll I'll, I'll, I'll talk about when we spoil it. Maybe we can just jump in. Just it. jump into it because I, I want it. I want it. I know it's got to be the same thing. Good. I saw a meme about Mike Myers. He's like when no one's looking at him. And the girl's running, and he's running real fast. And as soon as they turn around, he just starts walking slowly. <laughs> like, they're running, and he's running, and then he stops. He's like, like, <laughs> you say bold and everything. Like, that would like, be funny. Like, the toys in Toy Story. Yeah. Whenever it looks, he just starts walking real slow. Yeah. It's hilarious. That would be funny. Yeah. Um, I wish they would have did that in this movie. <laughs> made fun. I mean, just yeah. anything. They, the they, guy, they take his mask off, and it's actually Mike Myers. Like, he kept the fucking comedian. The actor. The, actor. Yeah. Well, these, the writers are really good at comedies. Yeah. It's just... That, well, it actually disappoints me to, to hear that it's the, the writer from Eastbound and Down because I that was a, a show that I literally watched in one weekend. Somebody oh, that told, show was awesome. Somebody told me to watch. It was probably one of y'all, and I just I started watching it like 
woke up Saturday morning, so we went out to fish at a front Friday for Friday beers or whatever, dollar beers, and I woke up Saturday morning and put it on and I literally watched the whole all of it for just like forty straight hours. Yeah, I, we're watching it right now. Actually, it's so good. Only six and it has, seasons. It, it has it, it has definitely has rewatchability, which made me. Cordy's like, never seen it. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Which makes me like what made me like Vice Principals. Yeah, they're, they're, but rewatching it, there are some things in it where I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I like when you watch The Office. <laughs> yes, <laughs> when yeah. they get down in Mexico. Oh, uh, that yeah. the opening scene <laughs> when he's being yeah. introduced. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Anyway, um, so we're gonna jump into some spoilers for Halloween Kills. Um, so be warned, we're there. Um, so yeah, the other scene I was referencing before we get into the likes. I guess I could save it for dislikes, really. I'll, yeah, I'll say for just dislikes. Talk about it all. I'll say for dislikes. So for like, what I did like about the movie was a lot of the throwbacks, the the opening title credits, just like the original mm -hmm. movie. A yeah. lot of that stuff was just like that. I appreciated um, them also bringing back a lot of the characters from the first movie. Yeah. Tommy Doyle, the kid that Laurie Strode babysit, yeah, or babysat in the first movie. He's a grown up now. Yeah. I mean. And not just that, the the, the nurse um, that was with Loomis, mm -hmm. um, the other I forget all of them, but there was multiple characters yeah. that were like, holy hell, it's like you were ever wondering what happened to Tommy Doyle after all this shit. But hey, here he is, still in Haddonfield, mm -hmm. telling war stories about Michael Myers. You know, so I, I appreciated all their nods and, sure. and homages and paying tribute to the original, which is my favorite horror movie. Of all time, it's, it it is the classic, and uh, I don't know. So they did do something, some good things, I think. I really enjoyed that they did the similar to what you're saying. They had the Michael Myers like Survivor annual mm -hmm. reunion mm -hmm. where they would just get together and kind of celebrate surviving that crazy person, which is a big deal. And <laughs> then the the community thing, I was cool with, but. I hated the way they did it. So I really liked that the community said enough is enough. We're going to take care of this. Mm -hmm. That part was cool, but the way they went about it was terrible. They turned them into a whole mob. Like if you're writing it, you're like, they should have the they should have the citizens rally together and like make it harder for the police. And on paper, like that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then execution wise, they just it was really bad. Mm -hmm. Don't look to me. I don't like it. You know, like anything. There's nothing. The door. Okay. The movie's, I mean, the movie's terrible. Do they even blend? None of it even makes sense. It doesn't even make sense to me. The mob that they build, there's just doctors in the house. This is fucking terrible. The movie sucked. I it. Dude, they brought I wish I would have turned it off. Donald Pleasance. So I could give a lower score. With, they blended the old footage with Donald Pleasance. I thought that was kind of cool. There's got to be something. Gore. No, okay, it. got it. Cool. I think my dislike for the movie was so is so high that, that yeah. it's hard for me to even try to want to like something. I just have such a distaste for it. I seriously only finish it. I wanted Jen to fall asleep so bad. She falls asleep during every goddamn movie. I immediately came down to play duty afterwards, which you got. I talked I talked to you on the right on the game. game. Yeah, right. You, I was at a, I was as as amped up as he was after the football game about how shitty this movie was. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jen did not fall asleep. I think she knew how much I hated it and stayed up. I mean, exactly <laughs> Scratch your face. I saw it. <laughs> Watch this, bitch. We, we should have had uh, Tim Hartlove on because he liked it, and so did so did Dave claim it. I so they both liked it. Yeah, or him. But yeah. so when, at Robin Jess's Halloween party, I didn't know it was him at the time. Oh. I've also never met Tim Hartlove, oh. right? Oh, really? Yeah. So I went outside to say I was saying bye to Rob. He's sitting there talking to somebody in a Michael Myers costume. And uh, he just started talking to me, and I was like, who's in there? Do I know who's in there? And he was like, no, not really. And I was like, oh, okay. So I said, I was like, oh, by the way, I just want to tell you, saw your new movie? Sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then so, so then he was like, well, didn't you like that? And he yeah. started talking to me, still didn't know who it was. And I found out the next day from Rob that it was Tim Hartlow. So, Tim. <clears throat> Uh, he watches all these. Yeah, please. Pretty hilarious that he didn't show you who he was at all. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. All right, I see. Yeah, yeah. Dating yeah, yeah, yeah. So on uh, a Halloween costume. Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. Nice. Sure. It was a, it was a good looking like he mask won. and he won the costume contest. Oh, he did. Yes, he did. I thought Jen Sean won. I thought I thought Jen, Jen won. won. I have the award upstairs. Did she gave him second. No. Yes, she did. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Um. So what? What, what? Maybe she did. I don't know. There was two real big things that I didn't like. Dislikes? Yeah, two. They made ones. it. It's probably the first Early one. on, they show a flashback sequence of Will Patton's character, Sheriff um, Officer Hawkins at the yeah. time. He becomes yeah. sheriff or whatever. Excuse me. He, it's the night the, of the original murders, 
and they get Michael Myers in this house or whatever, and Michael Myers jacks his partner up and kills him. Right. Well, no. Hawkins shoots his partner in the neck, yeah. Hawkins um, kills him. trying to kill Michael Myers, and then Michael Myers drops him, and then uh, Hawkins misses. Like four more bo- from me to you, <coughs> misses like four more shots. Not, it, not even close. Not even close. It was embarrassing. Like if I was aiming at Ben, I, I would be hitting that sign. Right yeah, there. it was t- under, that that right there immediately made me. Hate and me. that's the, what I'm talking yeah. about when I say lost me almost. Uh, me, I was like, bro, like I, I, it's a horror movie. It's about a guy who can't die. Whatever you know, there's a certain level of like you just accept what's going on. That was terrible. Pleasure. And then the scene that was kind of referenced a little bit earlier with the girl shooting herself. So absurd. The worst, the, it's I the mean, worst scene, one of the worst this, scenes I've this, seen in a movie in yeah, so long. I also hated their characters. I hated her all and her husband. Yeah. They were awful. Um, Terrible acting. Yeah, it's, it's so, so bad. It's so bad. Like, so they, um, there's a scene where like they're all in this car. They're looking for Michael Myers, whatever. Michael Myers ends up in the car <laughs> with like other people. Guys, the so girls outside of the car. They, they get there in the, they get, so they're, to preface that scene a little bit. Please. They're, they're, they're trying to drive around the neighborhood uh-huh. to get everybody inside because they're going to chase after they're in a group now the point is to be in groups mm-hmm. and then get people inside they pull up and then randomly there's some kids on the playground in the middle of the dark they got a four wheel drive vehicle there's not even a fucking curb they could have just drove over there this is the shit I'm talking about you know who gets out of the car the driver yeah. not the girl with the gun in the back seat not the girl with the knife in the front seat the driver gets out of there with the keys yeah. and goes over to these kids what has to happen there Michael Myers shows up yeah. the girl with the gun some gets out of the car while Michael Myers is getting shot at by somebody else, mm-hmm. and you just don't see her yeah, for like um, two minutes. She's gone out of the car. The, Michael Myers is in the car, leaned over like this, just for a, a full thirty seconds, <laughs> yeah. like this. And she is who the fuck knows where. Nobody knows where. And then all of a sudden, after he kills both of the people in the car, mm-hmm. you turn around. And she's standing there with his big ass gun. All of a sudden, she's back. Now, he smacks the door and he shoots herself. She shoots herself. It's the worst, <laughs> worst written shit ever, period. The movie's terrible. Let's talk about the fact that she's one-handing a desert eagle. Yeah. Okay, first of all. Where was she for two minutes? Yeah. And, dude, I mean, it was like, never in life has that ever happened. Not never ever. She's point, firing at the car, missing every shot. Michael Myers, kit, I mean, kit, and then... Dink. I mean, it is... Okay. Nobody in that oh, movie no, 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 shot... Obviously. Nobody in that movie shot anybody. I Not like a Jonathan single movie. bullet hit a single awesome. person other than the cop shooting his partner. That's the only bullet that hit anything in the whole fucking movie. Now, the one thing I will say is that historically with um, slasher movies, the whole thing about slashers is the creativity of the way people die. But at this point, I think I was just too judgmental. And like, it is creative. Like, I've never seen that before, but sure. I was so pissed off at the time that like, now it's just it's tacking on to the well, way it happened. It was like, you were like <laughs> if this right, if the sequencing makes sense for that, if the girl that gets out the car isn't the driver, why would she get out? Thing. Or two people go together. You never go by yeah. yourself. The whole point was, or they just drove over there yeah. and Michael Myers ripped some of the driver out. But the girl deliberately gets out the car with the gun yeah. to like defend the scenario. And it's fucking two minutes. She's just gone. And then all of a sudden he's done killing everybody. In the car, and then there she stick. She's been standing there with the gun. She couldn't. It's terrible. The yeah. movie's so bad. Just watch it. You're gonna fucking hate it. It's on Peacock for free. Stream. Please, I hope it's free. I'm glad I watched it for free. I would. Oh yeah. I don't good. even recommend watching. I had to spend twenty dollars to watch Candyman. Me too. Phone. I bought it today. It's <laughs> twenty bucks. Can't go to borrow my fire stick. You don't even have to give my remote. Nah, I got a remote anyway. Um. Did we hit? Did, I mean, I have more, but we don't have to. Um, uh, I yeah. I really no. disliked. I thought that the people that lived in his house were cool. Like, I thought that initially was a neat little thing. Like, the one, the gay couple. The gay couple. The oh, guy that's up yeah. there is listening to the music. Mm-hmm. And I, I was like, that's pretty cool. Like, he's super into Halloween. He bought this house because it's Stewart kids. from Saturday Night Live. It, <laughs> yeah, the one? Yeah, Look what was. I can do. <laughs> the one. The, the young, Little John. Little John, yeah. yeah. Big John is also I, funny. He was in the Mick. Do you remember the Mick with yeah, Caitlin Olsen? Yeah, yeah, the Mick's awesome. He was so funny. Yeah, they were both hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, go. But I, I like that scene. Mm-hmm. I thought that it was a, a cool little dynamic to add. Like the person that bought it knows the history. Mm-hmm. And then when the kids were trick or treating, and he went out and he was like scared him. Oh my god! I thought that was cool. And he cussed at him. He was yeah, like, I love that. I did love that. And then it killed it for me when Michael Myers showed up. Like, they died in the seemingly as stupidest ways ever. No. Everybody does. They, and it's like, 
I don't know what happens in that house, but apparently your voice doesn't carry anywhere. And why? Because they're like one room over, and he's getting stabbed, and Michael Myers is in there screaming, and the guys in the other room are like, John, are you okay over there? No, he's not fucking okay. He was just screaming. He said something about it. He heard him fucking die. He didn't get stabbed to the. Wall. What are these soundproof rooms? And why was Michael Myers even at the house? Like that's his house. It's his right, house. but like, why did he go there? Like, mm-hmm. Because it's a terrible movie. Because it's, because because it's a sisters. shit ass movie. Yeah. Sisters underwear or something. Yeah, okay. You gotta go stand and look out that window <laughs> again. <laughs> Creepy <laughs> and that's her. Um. <laughs> so next up would be best line lines and scenes. I I don't have a line. Nothing. Nothing stood out to me. I don't even have like a. I, like there were probably some really bad lines too. Um. But I just. Uh, nothing that like, you know, triggered to. Like, my, uh, I think one of my favorite worst lines is when the cops show up and they're trying to get together and find him. They found that he escaped, and the guy grabs a bat and he goes, "We'll take care of this." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, none I, of the mob have guns. guns. They all have like <laughs> like prehistoric weapons. Right, they yeah. like, got a knife, a machete, a barbed wire, baseball bat. Yeah. Like, what is this? Is this what? <laughs> Mm-hmm. The Goonies. I mean, what are we doing here? You yeah. know what I mean? They live in a town where Michael Myers is from, and <laughs> none of them have weapons. I'm pretty sure one of them had nunchucks. <laughs> Brandy, I'm gonna find it. Yeah. Size, size, <laughs> size or whatever it is. Yeah, 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 Did the turtles show up? It's crazy. Um, they kill him, and he's like, he just like, and then he just stopped. They're like, oh yeah, we got him. We're just all of us just apart because he's dead. Oh, he doesn't die. He just comes back to life and again goes back Did into full... Did he kill all of ba- them? Yeah, full battle royale mode. Goes straight back into fucking Chuck Norris. Yeah. And beats the shit out of everybody. Yeah. It st- it's just... It, it's so bad. It, yeah. It's- I'm so mad that I finished it because I can't score any lower than whatever. Yeah, and that kind of takes me to my director's hat thing because so I... Do it? I, yeah, I wasn't... So that, that part that you just referenced, right? Why even beat him to the point of... Near death, yeah. right? If you're just gonna let him do that, like, I mean, it. Well, no, they thought he was dead. Then they shoot him and shit. They did a whole bunch to him. No, no, he doesn't get shot. Yeah, I don't remember him getting shot. Times. I had to watch it. No, I don't. Pope no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna watch it again. No, me neither. Probably, maybe unless, unless he may have gotten shot. This a was You can't. <clears throat> I think that's what they came to that conclusion at the end of the movie. Yeah. Cut his head off. Well, that's been the conclusion for every time. They cut his head off in one of the movies. Yeah, actually. but that, but there was never like a sequel. to H two O, which was good. I actually like H two O. I don't mind H two O. I like that club and I was. And I tell you why when I get to my. Head. Yeah, no. So I just, um, I just hated that. Like the and the, like he just, again, he just stands up and it's like, come on, man. I know. As she's it, talking about, I, it's I like mean, the reverse I, Captain Marvel. Yeah, and then and then and then he's like. Then he's like right behind her, and then she gets destroyed, which like that kind of sucks, you know? Like all of it sucks. Yeah, it's um, I just I I do that differently. I I maybe even end the movie here. I know they're doing a third one called Halloween Ends, so maybe he might sometime he might die eventually. Um, Jason shows up. Yeah, I don't know, but I I would change that. I I wouldn't I wouldn't have done that to where you like again. Here we go again, thinking he's dead, and oh. Right. He stands back up. Like, that well, shit to me is just time, so played out. At least this time they don't have to rewrite into the movie as to how it survived. Even mm-hmm. though that was the coolest part of this movie, I think. Mm-hmm. Anyway, there you go. All right. So this is the problem with these movies. I'll tell you why. They cut... It's Jamie Lee Curtis. That's what it is. And I hate to say it. I know that's probably harsh to hear. But these, these movies need to be teenagers... On some form of a Drug. party or love fest, it doesn't. It's not That's believable. That's all it's not to you. It's not believable for me when it comes from adults. So, uh, <laughs> it's not believable for you. Sorry, that is. Yeah, yeah, that it's adults <clears throat> that are like talking about the fear of the dumb shit they just do. Just in general, yeah. all of it. Yeah. It needs to come from teenagers. Yeah, there needs to be that one arrogant kid that Young thinks he can fight him. Right. Because as an adult, I wouldn't be scared at all. There's a guy walking around with a knife. I'd be like, yeah, let's go find this. Right, guy. shotgun. I mean, I'd probably die. I would definitely die in this scenario. But in that, it would make it scary. Right. Let's have a fucking knife. Let's go, right. let's go kill this, this guy. This guy has but, a knife and he walks really slow. Like you said. Well, four of us will wait right here mm-hmm. with guns and destroy this bitch. We'll run him over with a car. He walks up on the wrong road. Yeah. Hey, guess what? I got my rifle with 45 right. rounds. Right. Let me just. Right. AR 15. Yeah. And he's dead. So it needs to be, it needs to be kids. Because yeah. in that scenario, even in that scenario, it's so much more believable that an adult would destroy a teenager. Mm-hmm. Like the teenager is like the tough one. Still gets ass right. beaten. It's still semi believable because that guy has man strength, not right. monster strength, which right. he has. But 
that's what it needs to be. It needs to be suspense. It needs to be love story. It needs to be someone you want to live. This movie had none of that. There wasn't a single person in this movie. I was like, ooh, I hope they don't get killed. And then when people lived, I was like, oh, they should have killed them. And I blame Jamie Lee Curtis because she's old and they're still trying to do it around her. Maybe in the last one, it'll be about the granddaughter. I don't know. They might say Halloween ends because they don't think Jamie's going to live much longer. She is getting pretty old. I don't know. Time's going to get her. I wonder what Michael Myers is going to do then. I don't want that. You don't got no directors? Yeah, I wish they didn't make this piece of shit movie. That's my director's idea. Damn, John. Harsh words. Yeah. Well, then no other way to feel about the movie. I didn't like it. I don't think it made sense. I thought the acting was bad. I don't think the filming was that good. None of it makes any sense. All right. Literally so, makes as much sense as the Green Knight. Which? Come on. What? I like this better than Green Knight. I didn't. I did not. I like the Green Knight more than this. Thank you, somebody. Yes. Jesus Christ. And I think I gave the Green Knight a three point one. So what's your score for this? Three. I can't absolutely wouldn't have finished the Green Knight. This I would have finished just because I got it now. I only finished this because Jen stayed awake and there was no way she would let me live that day. <laughs> yeah, you gave you gave the Green Knight a three point one. This is a three. What did I give the Green 3. Knight? Three point eight. Four nine. No, three point eight. Oh, three eight. Yeah. Yeah. Green Knight. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the. I'm gonna go in the fives. I'm gonna give this a five one. <laughs> That's funny. Did you go five two? I was gonna go five one, but I'm, I after talking, I'm at four eight. And I spring them down. That's what I do. Well, that, it, that's why the discussion's good because yeah. it, people think that their opinion is theirs, but in all reality, you're not intelligent enough to know everything. So. I've definitely changed my score plenty of times. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I've mean, I've raised and lowered my scores. And, Conversation yeah. I mean, I didn't raise it or lower it far, but yeah. like, I really just didn't like this movie. Even with the stuff that I said I liked, yeah. yeah. Overall, didn't like the movie. I mean, I watched the it. acting is so. It's real that's bad. the worst part. Yeah. It's, 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 it's so bad, and not only so, it's the some of the worst acting I've ever seen. Yeah. On top of one of the worst storylines from like ever. everyone. And not a single yeah. person is good in there. The the best character in there is the crazy guy who isn't even Michael Myers. He actually plays a good crazy guy who's off who gets chased. The one that mob chases. Yeah, yeah. 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 I felt so bad for that guy. Me too. Yeah. He's got random doctors just trying to throw tanks through. Come. Yeah. Also, not believable. No. Not believable. No. At None all. of it is believable. No. All right, it's all of us get him. Right. <laughs> How many we got? We got not, about six hundred. Not, 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 not a single person <laughs> other than the girl is going. Hey, maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have zero proof that this is actually him. Yeah. And all of a sudden, everybody's just stirred. Stop. It's just stop. It's just, just inject. It's like the humor. goddamn Twilight Zone. Just inject some humor in. It's a better movie. Like it's, yeah, it's the, he should have been Michael Myers the, for real. The guy gets scared and he goes to jump out of the window to kill himself. Like right before he falls down, someone should go. You trapped your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kills himself. Or Michael Myers catches himself. <laughs> <up. laughs> and then he kills him. There's my there's my head. Yeah. 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 my director's hat. Yeah, there you go. Um, all right, let's fucking move on. Please. Um, next up, Candyman 2021, the new one. Mm-hmm. Rated R, hour, 31 minutes long. Uh, directed by Nia DaCosta, who I, I, I felt like I recognized her name, but then I looked her up and I was like, oh, I don't know anything she did. But she is directing um, the sequel to Captain Marvel, the Marvel. I thought you were going to say the sequel to... Uh, Halloween? A candy man. No, no, no. <laughs> no, um, so. no, the the uh, the Marvels, which comes out in 2023. I oh, know. it's funny because that movie also wasn't very good. The Captain Marvel. Yeah. Well, she didn't direct Captain Marvel. Yeah, but I don't have high hopes for the sequel. I can tell you that. Okay. Uh, um, written by Jordan Peele, um, Wynn Rosenfeld, and Nia DaCosta. They wrote, I guess, that. It does have a very much, a very much Jordan Peele. Vibe. Yeah, I do yeah. like Jordan Peele, man. Like, I don't yeah. like, I don't, love, I don't Snapchat. love it all, but like, I. I appreciate his um, willingness to like push the envelope, make changes, do things like I, I thought Get Out was really great. I didn't yeah. think I didn't think Us was Us was like weird. I didn't us, see us. us was so good for the first half of the movie. It was this insane home invasion movie, and then he turned it into some fucking weird political statement. And I was like, yeah. what? I, this doesn't make it, it ruined it for yeah. me. Um, but like, I, I do like him. Like, 
Yes. And his shit, obviously, Key and Peele, they were so funny. They're Keen hilarious Peele. together. Yeah. So, they're so... Their big. Snapchat, their right. Snapchat uh, is... They have a joint... Oh, it, I did not know that. I gotta follow that. Yeah, it's, uh... Is it, just clip, is it just clips from their show? Uh, I think so. Uh. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. I okay. carry on. Yeah, so... The movie's a... It's a sequel, which I did not know. Yeah. I thought it was a remake. Yep. It is a direct sequel to the 1992... It's just Key and Peele. Um, Candyman. So that that was cool to find yeah, out. I, yeah. I didn't look anything up about it. I just watched it. Yeah. So, well, that was cool. Same neighborhood, everything. Yeah, sure. I, yep. Mm -hmm. And I, I really liked it. They did a lot of callbacks and they referenced specific things from the first movie. Mm -hmm. Which you, so yes, watch the first movie before you see this because yes, it will you have to. It will matter. Yeah. I wish I knew it was a sequel. I rewatched it. I would have watched them back to back. Yeah. Because yeah. it would have. Yeah. It, it would have. I probably would even have a higher score than where I'm at. Yeah. It's important. Had I watched it's important them. to know the, the main character from the. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. the first one. Um, overall, I enjoyed this movie. I, I thought it was good. Um, I thought I, I really liked the way it was filmed. I, I thought the cinematography was great. There were some really good shots, like one specifically where the main character, Anthony McCoy, he's like standing in the street in the like you know in the in the neighborhood, and the camera like comes up behind him and yeah. it, like zooms in on everything. You see everything, and um, the the death scenes. I thought they were great. Um, being as though like. Just the way they did it, like you don't see, like sure. it's just it's only happening in the mirror, but like in, I, I mean, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, visual effects, I thought the visual effects were absolutely great. Like it looked really, really good overall. I think, like uh, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm just kind of repeating. For myself. a horror movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't yeah. add as much gore as I would have liked, honestly. What it it, it, it has all that blood, blood, but like you didn't see. You never it. saw any of that. Yeah. Movies. Like it, this could have probably. It, I'm sure it was PG-13. That was hard. Radar? Wow. They yeah. really wasted that R rating, in my opinion. You think so? Yeah. There's a lot of blood. It it's just blood, blood though. It. There's you don't some see where it's there, coming from. There's some custom. Uh, that's my, my dislike. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry. But, I'm, but I'm, I agree with you wholeheartedly on it. That's what I was going to... I was going to reference this earlier when we talked about Halloween. Like there was okay. It's the one thing that Halloween did do that this movie didn't. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, Which you get a decent amount of in the original. And this... There's... There's no nudity in either of those movies. Like, grow up. Do grow you not know what horror movies are supposed to be? Grow so, up. At least one naked girl in the shower that hears something. And I, I don't want to be sexist. You could even throw a naked guy. Throw them all in. Just let's see it, no please. No that's, that's like the staple of a horror movie is nudity. Like, one what? of the things. There's got to be some sort of sex, some, some sex scene and some girl or guy or both in a shower. Yeah. I thought we were going to get it with the, um, the art dealer and the girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. then it just cut away and I was like... Yeah. Wasted. Shucks. Show some boobs. Our yeah. rating is valid. Shucks. Something, bro. Yeah. Um, show a penis. <laughs> show a penis. Uh, penis. Uh, uh, Whatever. Uh, so did did you like it, John? Like, what was your general thoughts on the movie? Uh, so, uh, and, and Breezy said this before. This will cut in. Yes, I do like it uh, specifically because of the ending. Mm -hmm. I'm particular about certain movies always ending. You know, endings are usually very predictable, especially in horror movies. Mm -hmm. Almost every horror movie ends the exact same way it's like it's stuff that's why they're so hard for me to watch because there's always this, the, the the sound effects with the this, the song or something that leads you right into something that's about to happen there isn't a lot of that in this honestly they don't do a lot of like pre-song no, right. scenarios not like, a lot oh, of jump scares right it, right you know it just maybe one right, right it just it just the shit just happens you know what i mean which i can appreciate because the point of being scared is for it to frighten you to mm -hmm. you to be alerted not to yeah, be exactly. aware of it coming, you know what I mean. Yeah. Other than like if you're at a haunted house and you're walking through somewhere dark, I'm your, your senses are high, your senses are higher. But like, don't be like, dee, 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 dee. you know what I mean? Like, uh, okay, you're, somebody's bad, you know, something bad. It's weird how it works though. Like the noise starts to get you nervous. You're like, mm -hmm. oh my god, they're gonna die. But see, I'm, I'm not. I'm. Not, I don't get like that. I'm the other way. Like. I am now. Yeah, I was like, oh, you're right, dead. Right, right. Oh, I'm looking. Somebody's definitely. No, I'm looking, but it's like, okay, somebody's definitely about to die right here. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean, there's this. This isn't quite that. They don't like the scene in the in when they in the art gallery where the deal when they get into the argument and the art dealer and his girl are there. Like when that all that hit transpires, there isn't any like music. There, you know, there isn't like a dark. And he's just yeah. you just you 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 cut and then you cut again and you see him in the mirror you're like, she there he is. You know that I mean? might be you're not waiting. It's good. Mm -hmm. like you're not waiting for it, and then boom. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You get you get hit with it, which I like, and then obviously. Yeah. Um, 
Did you say what you thought generally? You did, right? The general thoughts? It was uh, good. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's some things I really didn't like, but okay. overall, I liked it. All right. There's a little bit of mix of comedy, a little bit, of, there's a little bit of humor. It's some decent acting in this. I like, thought I like, I like, yeah. I like the characters. I think there's a good diversity of characters in this. I, also, like, I really think that the sisters, the girlfriend's brother. He the gay funny. dude, him and his boyfriend are fucking hilarious really for funny. me in this. I think they're, they're... The, the bar was also so low for me with Halloween that, yeah. like, I don't know if that elevated this or what. 100%. I watched, I watched Candyman the day after I watched Halloween. Oh, yeah. So it was really easy for it to be better than that. But I did think it was really good acting. All, I agree. Like, pretty much all the way I love this dude in Watchmen. I thought he was great. Dude. Yeah. So what John saw, his name's um, Yaya Abdul-Mati. Yeah. Um, he was Manta from Aquaman. I for, that's yeah. where I, yeah. like, I knew I'd rec recognize him, but that's where I really recognized him from. But he was in The Trial of Chicago 7. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been in a bunch yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Kyle Abraham. His, his uh, girlfriend, Brianna Cartwright, uh, that's Tiana Paris from WandaVision. Mm -hmm. She's um, mm -hmm. um, the next superhero. She, yeah, she's she's the one what's her face's daughter? Her Rambo's yeah, daughter, Rambo. yeah. Um, Coleman Domingo is in it. He plays this guy, William Burke. I like him as an actor a lot. Uh, he's from Fear the Walking Dead. Um, and then the original. The mother, his the boy's mother, Vanessa Williams, she's yeah. in it. Um, and then, you know, some other yeah. spoilers we're getting into right about now. Let's do it. Uh, Tony right. Todd. I was going to say, guys, we'll get into it. Yeah, we'll get yeah, into it, man. A quick, a quick little jump in there. Right yeah, there. it's yeah. fine. It's But because I'm not going to say when, but it's really cool how yeah. they did yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, That's to one see of the things I really like about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so as far as, as far as, uh, likes, spoilers, what do you, what do you got? Well, I mean, I like how they, they use the character from the previous ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's great how they, and I think it's really cool how they transition, how they, you know, to give the, it's a very, it's a similar story to how the last one is explained, but mm -hmm. this one is kind of like transition and they talk about the, the girl from the late, what the hell is her name? Oh, it's Virginia Madsen's yeah. character. Um, is it Helen? Yeah, something, yeah. Vir Virgil or something like that. So, whatever. I like, I'll, I'll get it. How, Keep how, talking. How Keep they, talking. How I got it. describe how the, he's created and you know, what keeps him around. And then obviously, mm -hmm. just how they used the previous story into this one. And it kind of transitioned. Helen Lyle. Like, yeah. And then they, tra uh -huh. they, yeah, they, they, they create that story that the, what is it? The, 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 uh, the brother mm -hmm. tells the story of that. The original one, and it's kind of like a twist on what really happens, and then mm -hmm. later on you actually get to hear like how it all transpires, mm -hmm. and it, it, it really kind of twists that original story, mm -hmm. and you get it from the guy um, in the uh, laundry mat. Yeah, what, what a, William Burke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's Coleman Domingo's yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Chris. Uh, yeah, I really like like I said, I love the ending. Um, to John's point, he told me he really liked the way it ended, and I was waiting to see it. And then it happened. I knew exactly what he was talking about when it happened. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I really like the the art thing, which when I get into the, my director's hat, I'll probably talk a little more about what I would do <coughs> differently. Mm -hmm. But I like that that's how it caught him. Like he was a struggling artist and he found his muse through that horror story, mm -hmm. which was cool because they, sh they took a movie we saw and turned it into a folk tale mm -hmm. and told that folk tale as a scary story almost like campfire style and mm -hmm. it was like well, that's pretty cool to see because that's what it takes it, basically like in like uh nightmare on elm street it, ta it takes the story and the fear and, uh -huh. and you know yeah, tell yeah. everyone kind of thing you yeah. know it, it takes that to keep that character in, and, uh, you know yeah relevant and, and then the art exhibit that yeah. he made about it was yeah cool. yeah oh yeah. Really Dude, cool. that i was gonna yeah. say to piggyback on yeah. what you're saying with the art thing it's a small thing but like whoever actually did those paintings or whatever, like the ones, the, last ones? the ones that, that he started he working on, the ones he started working on after he got bit. You're talking about the ones the that, he, that she finds. Well, when she comes in and she's like, "This is beyond yeah. um, tortured artists." Oh, yeah. When he's doing like the skull yeah. faces oh, and all yeah. that shit, they oh, look. They are intense. They're awesome. Oh, they're like, intense. And they, I mean, yeah. dude, they, they look like somebody bothered, disturbed. So again, yeah. whoever did those, yeah. like I know it's a small thing to say I liked, but man, to, just a detail to be yeah. like. Look at these paintings. Right. Like they're somebody all the same, actually but they're did this. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so I love that. Yeah, I that love cool. those paintings. I, I thought that was even how they were made. With like, I mean, you could tell like the, mm -hmm. the, the yeah the anger and the feeling like just the the way because they're like they're not it's a canvas but they're you have you know yeah. dimension to them I guess you know the, the yeah. way the painting the paint is pulled off of I don't know the, Ooh, I you're becoming an artsy person artsy fartsy yeah. artsy fartsy. 
Um, as far as there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of things I did like. There are some things I didn't, but the I, the scene, the the first murder scene, I also really liked. The with the 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 um the the art dealer and the and the intern. Uh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I I that love that cool. scene. Um, I and kind of we alluded to it a little bit, but like as they're getting murdered, I think in the in the old one, like he's. Like when people are getting killed, he's actually in the room. Mm -hmm. But like, and I'm sure that was a visual effects thing that they couldn't get around back mm -hmm. then. But now, like, there these people are getting murdered, right? And like, you just see it. Like, you see a little reflection of him behind them in the mirror, but he's not actually there in the room. And I just thought that way that whole murder scene was filmed was awesome. Okay. What that that. that. Can we go into things we don't like? Let's because I want that. that. I want that. I know. I want Let's, that to go into exactly what I don't like because right. I thought it was. And it, this will probably, it's probably something you and I agree on because it sounds like it, but <laughs> I, I wish that they would have done that more because yeah. I thought it was awesome how they kill in that scene that when you do get her, like when, when they are getting dragged and then you, they pan and you see them in the, mm -hmm. the mirror, like that whole scenario, like in, uh, what is that, uh, the glass, no, 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 what's the one where they got all the demons in the basement inside the glass rooms? 13, 13 Ghosts. Ghosts. Remember that? I haven't seen that forever. That is a great horror movie. Yes, okay. awesome. I remember loving it. Okay. It's been Top probably five. decades. So, so scary as shit. Okay. The, the uh, oh god, I can't remember the one main. There's a crazy ass girl and a guy in there. They're like Shaggy. They, no, they're like it's the, Matthew Lillard, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and and the girl from um, American Pie is in there too. The one who mm -hmm. the foreign exchange student. Um, Nadia. Oh uh, yeah, she is. Yeah. Did uh, you know that's a remake of a movie from the sixties? <laughs> I did not, mm -hmm. but. The way the way that they show because you can't see the ghost in that unless you have the glasses on and they show they they kind of cut yeah. away with the what's kind of reminds me of that because you can't really see what's happening uh, yeah, other yeah. than them than people being killed and then you see him in the mirror and just like just the way they give him like those cynical smiles when he's doing it like mm -hmm. yeah he just enjoys the killing part and then it, uh, but there is I mean the one scene in the bathroom with the four girls he kills all four of them girls and you don't see any of them. You just see the pool of blood, the first girl, which is fine because, okay, they're wondering, but like, there's three girls in a bathroom and somebody's over there dying, but they all just. I can't believe they stayed. Right. Well, they couldn't get yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I can't believe they separated. They all like. <laughs> one at a time. Yes, literally, all, just <laughs> one at a time. They go over there to all yeah. die. And then, I guess. They can't show them being killed, maybe because they're kids. I don't no, know. I that was a I university. I would say showed them all. I, that, that there's a, there's some scenes where I wish they would have showed more of the gore because they should have. Yeah, but yeah, because because he, he, the way he killed was gruesome, and I thought that I think that's awesome for. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been really cool for the movie because that scene that you're talking about in the mm -hmm. art gallery, watching them, even if they don't show every part of it, even if they pan back and forth from the mirror mm -hmm. to not the mirror. Show a little. Cool. Yeah, yeah, just give me something, not just the pool of blood. Oh, yeah, floor. I'm with you. I'm with you. But that's really my one great with the movie. Are we on dislikes now? Yeah, we on dislikes. Yeah, so I, I hit the like oh, no. was part yeah. of my dislike. Yeah. I, yeah, same thing. I wish I was more bored. Um, <laughs> there needs to be something that just goes, ugh, at one point in the movie. Or something where you're like, don't do that, stupid. Aside from saying Candyman in the mirror five times, no one else does really dumb things in this movie. There's no like, Run oh, what's this behind? Me? Yeah, there's a noise on the chain. <laughs> something like Side that. The Did you guys remember? Like, I remember being, I like in high school, the middle school and shit. Like, I'm not saying it. Like, like people would dare uh, you, yeah, yeah. dare you to say it. I, I ain't got a reason to say it now. <laughs> yeah. it. I got no reason no. to do it because no. if it is true, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, I have no reason to do it. That uh, one, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary was one. Yeah, no reason to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to prove it true no. or wrong. No, whatever. Right, you know what call me sure. Call me whatever you want. Go ahead and say it yourself. Catch yeah. me outside. Let me know how it goes. I believe you. Um, was was that it? Just a gore? Or did no, you... But a gore. Um, if I'm being a hundred percent honest, uh, there's a scene with the police that really kind of pissed me off. The oh, very yeah. end. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like that either. Yeah. It, it just portrayed. The whole movie kind of just portrayed white people as the bad guys. So that's a, that's a kind of appeal thing. For is, literally everything. Which is yeah. okay, I guess. Yeah. But I hate watching a movie going like, oh, my family sucks. Dude, and, and I, going home and like, fuck you, mom. Yeah. You white piece of shit. Like the line where he says, so white people build the projects and then tore it down because they realized white people built the projects. They're not wrong. Yeah. They're not yeah. wrong at all. And I, I'm not trying to oh, take sorry. anything away from what they're yeah. going through. Yeah. yeah. 
they're not wrong in the yeah. messaging. It's just for me personally, yeah. it's like, God damn, we suck. They you, don't shed any good light on you. The know, cop thing was a little much. Yeah, yeah, it was excessive. I, and we could jump back to that. <laughs> what I what I what I tried to do in my in like my head is like look at all the movies that have come out over a hundred years of movies, right? All the movies where where like it's a story set in the South or whatever, and you get these crazy scenes of racism where like white people are treating black people like absolute trash, man. And it's like, like think about like it's the same thing. Wh- Even those movies, I'm like, man, white people suck. Right, but like like the uncomfortableness. Like I've been Courtney and I've watched movies together where there have been scenes where it's like I could tell it's like the made her uncomfortable. That too, like I mean, it just it just. So I try to like I try to like flip it to like understand from a American another, history yes. from a different perspective. Yeah. I just try to put my my head and self in, in those shoes. But to Chris's point, the scene with the cops at the end was I mean, it was just it was so much to make a point <laughs> to say. To me, the statement was all police are bad. Yep. That's what they were trying yeah. to say with that scene. I agree with you. And and it do, I mean, do you want to describe the scene or Oh uh, yeah, so uh <laughs> Candyman, or this version of Candyman, is on the floor dying, and they'd already thought the cops to come and find him. And his girlfriend is holding his body, and she's like, "We're in here, we're in here!" And the cop runs in and goes, "Get down!" and just shoots him like six times. He's it's, it opens the door. He's dying like a laying on his back. Guy runs in and goes, "Get down!" Pops him six yeah. times. Does he already have a stake in his hand? Yeah, he's he got the he's got the hook. But he's literally, again, yeah, laying on his dead, bed, time. basically dead, in his girlfriend's arms. Yeah. She's like, come help yeah. us. This cop storm in, you know, freeze, Shoot which is, up. okay, whatever, freeze. That's what they say when they enter. But she's like, hey, we need help. And he's like, bang, 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 without question. Yeah. And it was like, come on. You could have done that so much better. A lot yeah. of options. He could have, the cops could have still killed him if he was just clinging to life with a hook. Holding her like this. Yeah. And then it's a false death right. and the cops are still assholes. Or, or, or anything, or if he just turns around and he has the hook and yeah. there's a and thousand he, ways to do that that isn't that. But they didn't show Laying on his back. They barely showed a single yeah. death in this movie, which I have a gripe with myself. It's horrible. And this one too. They don't mm-hmm. do it, they just show it. They show mm-hmm. the that you hear it. Yeah. They walk in and that's the last part you see you hear it pop off. Then they sit her right in the car and go, Alright, so you saw us protect you by killing that guy, right? Because if not, you can go to jail for a very long time. As an accomplice. <laughs> if there are people like that in the world, and I'm sure there are. Yeah. F them. F yeah. you if you're watching this. Yeah. But that, it just felt like a little must It was, and, and it wasn't even one of the eight cops that were there that were like. No, they brought in like the, right, the, not, just the plain clothes not, guy. Not, and not a single, but like not a single one of them is decent. Yeah. You know right. I mean? Which makes it okay to even, even the one in the car is like. I'm not you. I'll you. She says I have to. I'll say what you want me to say right. if you let me look at yourself. In the right. Look, let me look at myself in the mirror. You know what I mean. So it's like. But I did. That. A, cool. That was a really cool thing to do. Cool thing. Yeah. Thing. I thought the movie was cool. I thought. I thought that again. I mean, I, I do agree. They pushed the agenda a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, a couple times. Yeah. Not yeah. just there. And, and 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 to be honest with you, in the original story, they that's what it's about. I mean, mm-hmm. he is he is an abused black man. And that's kind of how the character comes to fruition. But but they 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 really... say he was innocent, but wasn't. You know what I said? They found lollipops with razor blades yeah. a week later, so it wasn't him. They, right. And maybe, but if he's able to do it from behind the grave, it still could have been him. Right. Uh, and I'm not. And I, well, I'm not giving them the green light on this. I'm just saying uh, they they really push the agenda. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and again and again fun. go to go back to Peel. He does that. In almost all of his movies, doesn't have up. anything that isn't comedy yeah. goes mm-hmm. that direction. Even Get Out, which I thought was an incredible movie, Get yeah, Out was good. They still push that agenda yeah, with yeah. it. I mean, I thought it was a really cool way to write a movie. I thought it was and awesome. use it without. I don't think they force it in that as much as they do in this, or possibly. Well, they uh, kind of do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole message. They say it, that it, movie they say it without saying it in there. This one, they this one is forced down your throat. Yeah, the shooting yeah. scene at the end is is. It, as blatant as we can be. It could also be just about how you look at it. Like, yeah, in Get Out, right, the, the white people are... Clearly, they're killing black... Whatever. It's, they're the bad guys, right? It's awful. Mm-hmm. But, like, if you just look at the story, like, hey, this is a group of shitty people. Kill, you know, like, they could have been any race. They just mm-hmm. happen to be white. So yeah. it's like, you gotta, you gotta try to, like... You know, like, that's how I try to look at the world in general. Yeah. There's good people. There's, there's bad, bad people. people. Yeah. It, then that's it. There's yeah. no, like... 
whatever. White, black. Yeah, but they were descriptive Asian. in this. They, they, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that line I'm talking about. Oh, no, no. I, I get what you're saying, but I'm just saying for me. I like, got you. I got I, you. I try to that's just, a good view. Yeah. That's a good, good view to have. bad. One. And, and that's correct. it. There's, There's no, no other, you. you know, it could be any race, any gender, whatever. Um, what they were talking so, about earlier, the thing I like, though, is that the, the villain doesn't die, which is big. That was the thing that I liked in this movie. Oh. That's, I, that's what I was telling. That's what I said when I... Yeah. I know you didn't say it, but that's the thing that I like about this movie the mm. most is that is it, a lot of these horror movies, with the exception of that stupid ass one that we just watched, um, Jason. Uh, I mean, uh, Halloween. Really doesn't die a lot, right? Not in horror movies. I feel like I feel like it, the ending is it's always like the good guy, the, you know, trying. The, the, the good guy doesn't try. We'll say that. No, yeah. yeah, not at all in this one. Not <laughs> even not, not even close. This one is definitely portrayed for. Him to come tell everybody, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For him to come back and do a lot more killing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, but more, this one is more like culturally motivated, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do really like this. Which is okay. I, I don't. I'm, I'm okay with the culturally no, motivated. No, no. Yeah. You just I don't make like, it subtle. Yeah. Let us to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Any movie, any yeah. message you have, yeah. don't mm-hmm. tell us the message. We yeah. have to be able to. That's the more out. that 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 tell, allowing somebody to figure out is what you want, I think. Yeah. And trying to give somebody a message, you, you don't want to, yeah. to tell somebody how to feel. You want them to feel it based right. on how you feel. You know what I mean? I, I, you, that's just my mm-hmm. idea. I'm with you. Um, you guys got any favorite lines? Uh, yeah. I think, I don't remember it specifically, but when the gay brother is with his boyfriend and they're looking at the mirror and he said, candy man. He goes, oh, don't do that. This ain't the South. We don't got no voodoo. Black people don't do that stuff up here. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's pretty funny. That was like, there's a couple good ones, I <laughs> think. That, kid, that guy's funny. Man. When, when they walked in later and like he's like, we're here to get her things. And we're leaving <laughs> with her things. I, I, I mean, he was really... He's funny. Yeah, man. he was good. Jeva? Yeah, yeah, I like Candyman's line. He says, when he says, I'm writing on the wall to sweet smell of blood, be my victim. Oh, that was a badass line. Yeah, yeah. He's such a good villain. He really yeah, is. Yeah. I, I, and I think that Transitioning into this new actor, I think that he can be a very. He's got he's got a good build for it. He's got good voice. Mm-hmm. He's got a good strong deep voice for this to be to be a villain. I love how they amplify. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I yeah. Love yeah. They put they put like that low bass into it mm-hmm. to where you can, like especially if you watch it in a theater. But if you have a subway yeah. or something like they're that, they're using short mics. You, yeah. <laughs> you can de- you can definitely feel his the depth of his voice like it's coming from somewhere else. Yeah. Not just seeing. It. Um. So I also I I found one. To be kind of funny, like, but also like that's so accurate, and it's at the opening of um, Anthony's uh, gallery or whatever when he comes up with the painting or the idea for like the mirror, the mirror and the, yeah. you know. So the critic comes over or whatever, and you know she's white, he's black, obviously, and then she's they're they're talking about the gentrification of the neighborhood. That's the one thing we didn't yeah. say. So like in the original movie, that neighborhood is completely run down. And in this movie, it's now the the hipster area. Like it's where, stuff. yeah, it's exactly what it is. So she's talking about the gentrification of the neighborhood, and he go and she says, "But your kind are the real pioneers of that cycle, you know." And he goes, <laughs> "Excuse me," like he automatically assumes that she's just like black people. Yeah. She goes, "Artists, right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> artists yeah. descend upon disenfranchised neighborhoods." To find cheap rent so that they can dick around in their studios without the crushing burden of a day job. Yes. And I was like, a hundred thousand yeah. percent accurate. I appreciated that part. It sure. was it was yeah. so spot on, bro. Yeah. Drive down North Avenue now, like in Baltimore, and see what they're doing. Like, it's crazy. They got two movie theaters down around there now. Oh, it's yeah. the art district that, um, I don't know how long, Micah is there. The art university is down there. Like, and you just... You drive around, it doesn't, I mean, now you go on one side, it's like kind of like, yeah, but it's still, they're trying to do it down there. And it's like, the the hipsters are the ones that you see, like, hey, you know, it's, I just, I thought that line was so perfect. There'll be breweries down there soon. Yup. For sure. 100%. Um, Director's hat, you capping it up? Go ahead, bud. You want? Um, actually, I don't know what I would change. I don't know if there's anything that I think needs to be changed. So how far um, to try to change anything in this because I don't know what the next one's going to bring. Are they doing? I don't even know if they're doing a sequel. I, I think, um, I, well, I don't know, but they, I think you don't have to. They at least set you up for a sequel mm-hmm. in this. So I, yeah, I don't know. That, again, we have to like wrap around to whether or not. But go ahead. Sorry. No, you're good. So for me, same thing as Michael Myers. 
There isn't anyone that I care about that died in this movie. There were no character connections to anyone that lost anything. In fact, I don't think... You know what? I'm not even going to say that. Um, I think that <laughs> there are... I really wish they would have tied more into his artistic creativity. Like you said, he made that one thing, then he showed a couple paintings, but I wish it would have shown how him painting the paintings were a reflection of the past of the Candyman actually corrupting mm -hmm. his mind into becoming the Candyman. Mm -hmm. It was pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Like, as soon as he got stung by the bee, I was like, oh, he's the next Candyman. I don't know if everyone else felt that, mm -hmm. but I it was like, yep, that's him. I pretty much thought he was going to be Candyman from the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, he's a major actor. Mm -hmm. He's a black guy. And, and, and his... Just the way his up, it was kind of an uphill battle for him. I mean, they, they were explicit about it with him fighting to be. Uh, I don't. I, I didn't. I didn't see him being the baby. Hit the child. Yeah, yeah. From the original. From the original. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that that was new. <coughs> but uh, so I would definitely build a little more character development and kill someone you care about. Like, why not kill the gay brother? Maybe. Well, not that, yeah. Not that I want him dead, but that's the reason you kill him. Like the horror movie has to have people dead that you cared about. I think. Oh no! I was yeah. more so nah, rooting for people to die. Yeah. Like right. the art dealer, that girl, kill him. The girls in the bathroom, who gives a shit? They seem that's like, it, which yeah. is which is kind of the opposite of what he's saying. That's yeah, give me some, give you something you care about. Right. No, I thought the so, point was or his girlfriend, bad, right? or his girl. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I also, but you know what? I didn't really care for her character. No, oh, she was kind his of girlfriend. She's she kind was, of a bitch. Yeah, it wasn't love. I would have been okay. That's the thing. I would make it up. Make her stand by him through this stuff. Well, that's he what, went a little crazy and she went, mm -hmm. peace, right? Yeah. Even at the you could tell she was selfish, like, yeah. my apartment. Oh, wait, our apartment. Like, immediately peace on him. Like, she didn't like me because I paid for everything. It was a bunch of time where yeah. she was financing his life and blah, yeah. blah, blah. And she had a little thing for the other guy for sure. Um, yeah. yeah. So I guess the only thing maybe I would change is you brought everybody back. Try to get Virginia Madsen back. You know, she was the one that played Helen. Her voice was in the movie. Doesn't she die? Didn't she walk into the fire? But like in some form, can't you like bring her care, like her face or uh, like just a cutaway or something? I, it's been, I forgot, man. Yeah, we yeah. watched this movie like yeah, a year yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. If she did die, then I fucked up, and I'm sorry. But like, I, she, I know her voice was yeah, in she, it. She does. Okay, well, yeah. So then, I, then whatever. No, you could definitely do a cutaway or something like something that. like a, yeah. you know, like it just would have been cool to see her. But anyway. there definitely could have been a fire scene where you throw it back. I'm good. Yeah. Right. Cool. I, the only thing I would say is just add a little bit more gore to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, score. Oh, uh, I'm gonna say I'm a I'm a because I, I I checked. I gave the original Candyman a six point five, and I like this more. So I'm gonna seven go two. six point eight. Seven two. For what I give the original Candyman. You said seven point two, John. Seven point two. For seven point two for John Boy and Chris. You gave this, or I'm sorry, Candyman, a. 6.5. No, 6.8. Sorry. 6.8. Uh-oh. This is going to be lower. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of this one either. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, 5.8. Oh, okay. All righty. There we go. I mean, that's pretty... Score, score. Yeah, yeah it's... Um, what does that give? Average is going to be in the sixes, right? It has to be. 6.6. 6. Better 6, than Halloween. I'll give it that. 100. Yeah, 6.6. .6, which I think is kind of where this... Right? Yeah. Is that what you said? Nice. What are the three scores? 6.8, 5.8, 7.2. Yeah, 6.6. 6.6. Yeah. Excel six. does the work for you. Um, all right. Well, that's it. Um, that's uh, that's the week. No game. Obviously, we did two movies. I don't know how long we are. Probably over an hour at least. Um, but next week or next episode, because we're now we're – it's Monday today. So we're going to try – I'm going to try to get this out by this coming Friday. And then maybe – so we're going to record Sunday. We're going to try – we're going to try to get back on some kind of schedule, but we'll see. Because I got more trips coming up. John's on mornings. and I do one by myself. Yeah, well, so we're going to get up. But next week's movie, which I've already seen and I really enjoyed, is uh, Marvel's Eternals. So I'm excited. Next, next one. Just do the review now, man. I'm excited. Next one in the MCU. Thank you to 7-3. I, I might go again, <laughs> honestly. Uh, my buddy Jason, shout out to you, Jason. was talking about seeing it. He, I think he's going to try to go this week. I may go again with him. I don't know. We'll see. What, what time are we doing a review Sunday? In the morning. Right. I may I may go see the movie in the morning. Okay, we'll figure it out. But it turns. That's but next week. Still yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, do you guys want to do shots or no? No. All right. Shot clock. Oh, John. Yeah. Johnny boy. Oh my god, be up at three. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't care. Pick one. Do this one. That's the one I brought up. Um, in the meantime, like the video, share the video, leave us a comment. Okay. 
I like that. Do you have any idea what we're doing after Eternals? And are, we uh, doing, uh, are we doing a movie pick em thing soon or an actor uh, thing? Oh, I was thinking we maybe play we, a uh, we gotta play a game soon. I was thinking we could maybe even do one. Uh, you know, we were talking about doing another. Um, I'm an island boy. Just uh, trying to make it. Do you want to review that? Doing and another. Um, unwatchable. I think, it's, I think it's catchy. I think it's terrible. I think people are hating, but I guarantee you, guarantee you, if they were on an island or from an island, people would drop that. They are. More. They're Cubans. Well, they're Cuban, but they're in Florida. They're Florida boys. They're Floridians. Floridians. And that's a peninsula. You want to get uh, Sean and do an action draft? Phillips? Yeah. Okay. Didn't he say he wanted to be on for the action he one? He does. Huh. Sure. Either yeah, action or war. Sports maybe? Oh, war, war. It's got action or military. Okay, let's do war. But no, he said, he said his favorite. Let's and do war. Like let's do war. It's a smaller category and like... The day after less, tomorrow. Less class. great movies, you know? Um, the tomorrow war. We, if he wants to come Sunday, we can do it with the Eternals. Right, robot. Um, or I'll we, call, we can, say, we can save it for another another time. Terminator. Yeah, he, he's working right, He's working tomorrow night, so he might actually be able to go see it. I'll, I'll text him. Right time. All right, boys. Cheers. To the island, boys. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Bye. Thank you. Real talk for real movies, yeah, we'll listen. Real life for real hype, you feel different. Underrated, appreciated, or barely made it. You let us know at Law Bay, yeah, you really hate it. And Chris was like, in the past, he thought it going better. And like Jess, it didn't show up, and we don't let him. It's real talk, no theoretical, though it ain't invisible, man. It's so dependable, damn. You can't see him if it's dark or bright. Ask Chris with his Miller Lite. What blockbuster is so good, right? Candyman or Tony died or Holy God. I mean the devil all the time, or at least a lot. Apocalypto, go against the grain. Like your boy Adam Who drink Jack Like Jungle Anna Nick Mullins Educators Tell us what you know about him Is it bad or good Like Peanut Butter Falcon Special guests Like Danny D and Dave Arnold Let us look To the future Event Horizon In real life The movie will never stop Until it does We drop But there's no getting up Until then Subscribe And they let you know The tops Only way to know For sure Is to watch So shut up And drink your pops Your soda and corn pops And listen to the Real life movie talk I'm isolated Like the lady in black and I seek revenge for these movies at work.